So we wanted to show you today uh, here at Sustainable Seed what some of the uh, dry or dent corns, uh, people call them field corn or dent corn, how they're used. This is uh, Painted Mountain, which I'm, I'm sure everyone's seen. It has some white kernels, has some red kernels. It's multicolored, to say the least. This is called Wapsi. It's a yellow corn. It's got some kernels of red in it, uh, but it's also another dent corn. And this is Hopi Blue, which uh, everybody knows, and uh, that's where your blue corn chips come from. So what we wanted to show you today was we're going to grind up some of this uh, Wapsi, some of the uh, dent corn. And the reason people would grind up corn, obviously, was for cornmeal or cornbread. Uh, the grower who grows this uh, for us makes fresh cornbread uh, at least once a night out of grinding his corn. Uh, you can also make, as we said, uh, corn chips, blue corn chips. Uh, to wow your friends and neighbors, those are always fun. Or muffins. Uh, a lot of people use a little bit of uh, a blue cornmeal or the painted mountain cornmeal uh, to make really, really wholesome muffins. Um, one other thing, we have a lot of Italian folks that live in our area, and they use a coarser grind um, to make polenta, which is kind of an Italian dish. It's kind of funny if you think about it, because corn is originally from the Americas, but the Italians got a hold of it, turned it into a great dish, and... Uh, it's basically a coarse grind cornmeal. So we'll go over to the grinder now and show you how that's done. Okay, so we have our painted mountain and we're going to put it into, this is called a Corona grinder. We're actually, we'll offer these here pretty soon on our website. But you can find them out on the web. They're not too, uh, too terribly expensive and I think every Homesteaders should have one. Actually, everyone, I think, should have one. They, they come in use in so many different ways for grinding up poultry feed or making cornmeal like we're going to do now. So anyway, I have my painted mountain. I'm just going to pour it in. We just put a little bit. Normally, you would put a whole lot more, but I just want to show you what it's like. And then it's real simple. You just turn the crank. This is going to get real noisy. Painted Mountain makes a much finer meal, uh, unlike a yellow dent corn. This people actually call a flower corn because the, uh, the texture is so fine. Let me get it all the way through here. Okay, so it's basically finished now. And you can see how fine and powdery this is. This is a wonderful, wonderful flower corn. But it still has some chunks in it. So what we want to do is grind those down even further. And that's what this little knob is on your Corona grinder. You tighten it up just a little bit. And it puts the teeth closer together so you get a finer grind. So now we're going to put this back in. and grind it one more time. Okay. So now we have a really, really fine grind. You can see it's already starting to clump together. This is just powdery. Wonderful, wonderful. This makes excellent muffins. You can make cornbread out of it, obviously. There's so many things to make out of this wonderful, wonderful cornmeal flour. This is just how the pioneers would have done it. Okay, so I want to show you what Painted Mountain looked like beforehand. This is uh, some we keep on the counter, like a candy jar. Man, look at the colors of that. That is just amazing. It's like somebody hand painted this stuff. Uh, I know the guy that bred this used over 30 some odd varieties to come up with this. My, my hands have paint on them today. I've been busy painting. Anyway, this is what it looked like beforehand. And this is what it looked like after. Look at this wonderful flower. I mean, I am so impressed with this. And this is stuff you can grow on your own. And you grind it up right before you need it. It's amazingly fresh. This was uh, Wapsi, which is a uh, 
what's called a dent corn. And now this makes a little bit coarser meal. And here it is here. I just ground this up a minute ago. Now this has actually been ground three times. Remember we ground this up twice. And you can see that the, the, uh, the grain is a little bit more coarse. It makes an excellent cornbread. Or you can make polenta. Actually I would have only ground it twice if I was going to make polenta. If you wanted to use it for muffins, I would grind it one more time. But this shows you a way to uh, use some of those amazing corns that you grow and get the uh, best health and nutrition out of what you grow.